Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 12, Heat Conduction and Thermal Expansion. Test number 3. Two properly isolated uniform rods D and E make thermal contact at one end as shown in the figure. Okay, so initially it's 100 degrees Celsius. The point where they meet is equal to 80 degrees Celsius. Okay, and the uh, thickness of the D is 20 cm the thickness of the rod e is equal to 40 cm so now we look at the first questions a determine the temperature gradient along the rod d so the temperature gradient is equal to dt over dx and we want to find along the rod d only okay so at point d we will write t final minus t initial over the thickness where t final is equal to 18 and t Initial is 100 uh, because the heat transfer is from hot 100 to a low temperature. And the thickness for D is 20 cm, so I will change it, it become 0 0.2. So therefore, the answer that we will get is equal to 100 degrees Celsius per meter. Okay, next one, we want to find the temperature at the free end of the rod E. Okay, so we want to find the temperature T here. So as we know that, the questions already mentioned just now is at the steady condition. Okay, so since the question mentioned steady condition, meaning that dQ, the rate of heat transfer at rod D will equal to the rod, the rate of heat transfer for rod E. Okay, so Ka dT over dx equals to negative Ka dT over dx for E. Okay. This is for E and this is for D. So we can cancel off the area because we know that the area here along D and also E, the area here actually are the same. Okay, so we can cancel off the area and we can substitute into the equations where the thermal conductivity of K for rod D is actually K and the thermal conductivity for rod E is 2 over 3K. So I substitute into the equation K and this is 2 over 3K. Okay, uh, negative, negative, we also can cancel all. Okay, now the temperature gradient, dt over dx for d, uh, is actually, we take the final where is 80 minus 100 over 20. Okay, so 80 minus 100 over 0 0.2. And the temperature gradient for the rod E is actually t minus 80. Eh? And the thickness is 40 cm. Okay, so it's T minus XT over 0 0.4. Okay, so K and K, we, again, we can cancel off. Okay, so finally, the value that we get, the temperature T at the end, free end of the rod E is actually 20 degree Celsius. Okay, so no negative. Eh? Okay, so ignore the negative. So the answer is equal to 20 degree Celsius. Okay, next one, B, sketch and also label the graph to shows the relations of temperature with the distance along D and also E. Okay, so we need to sketch the temperature in okay, the temperature in degrees Celsius, X in meter. Okay, and uh, the total length here is actually uh, equal to 60 cm, so it's 20 and 40. So I sketch here, this is 20, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and also 0 0.6. Okay, and the initial temperature here is 100, eh? so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, so this is 20 degree, 40, 60, 80. Okay, so the first one, okay, the first one we sketch is uh, from 100 to 80 in 20 cm. So in 20 cm is from 100 until 80. Okay, and then from 80 to 20 degrees Celsius in 40 cm. Okay, so from 80 degree to 20, yeah, 20 meaning at here. So I will sketch. Okay, so this is the temperature gradient for rod D and also rod E. Next, we go to question number four. A copper plate of the thickness 1 cm is sealed to the steel plate with the thickness 10 cm as shown in the figure. So here we have two. Uh, Metal, the first one is copper, the second one is the steel with the thickness 1 cm and also 10 cm. So the initial temperature is 30 degree and until it reach the, the end of the steel is decreased to 15 degrees Celsius only. 
The temperature of the exposed surface of the copper and the steel is 30 degree initially and the final, the end of the temperature only left 15 degree Celsius. Okay, and they give you the K, the thermal conductivity for the copper and also thermal conductivity of the steel. Okay, so question number 4A. Determine the temperature of the interface between the copper and also steel split. Meaning that we want to find what is the temperature between the copper and also the steel split. Okay, so since the question is isolated, okay, this is the case for steady state or steady condition where we know that the Q over the T for copper is actually equal to the Q over the T of the steel. Okay, so we can write K copper dt over dx for c is equal to negative thermal conductivity for steel times the area dt over over dx for the steel okay so similar the area here the area here for copper and also for the steel are the same so we actually we can cancel off the area okay and we can substitute in the value where the thermal conductivity of the copper is 385 and the temperature is final meaning that the t minus 30 so it's t minus 30 degree over 1 cm okay so it's 0 0.01 the thickness and the thermal conductivity of the steel is 50.2 and the temperature final is 15 minus t so it's 15 minus t and the thickness is equal to 10 cm so 0 0.1 okay uh, negative negative we can cancel so, so therefore, we will get the temperature between the copper and also the steel is equal to 29.8 degrees Celsius. Okay, last question. For B, the amount of heat flowing from the copper plate to the steel plate in one minute. Okay, so here they give you uh, the amount of heat transfer in one minute, meaning that they give you the time. And the cross-sectional area of both plate is given 50 cm squared. And no energy loss to the surrounding, meaning that it's isolated. So we want to find what is the value for Q. Okay, so we know that dQ over dt equals to negative Ka dt over dx. Okay, so now if let's say you want to use, uh, we want to find the amount of heat flow from the copper plate to the steel, meaning that we want to find what is the heat in the copper plate. Okay, so this is in copper, in copper plate. So dq is the value that we want to find, the heat. And time taken is 1 minute. So 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. Okay, for the copper, the thermal conductivity of the copper is equal to 385. And the cross-sectional area is given just now 50 cm square. So it's power of negative 4. And the change of the temperature, we take final minus initial. So for copper, um, the final minus initial, final just now we get is... 29.8 so it's 29.8 so it's equal to 29.8 minus 30 over the thickness 1 cm so it's 0 0.01 okay so our heat is equal to 2310 unit is in joule okay so this is the amount of heat flowing from the copper plate to the steel plate okay so that's all for today thank you see you on the next video we will discuss on 12.2 thermal expansion see you bye